Now, movies and TV shows have been around for like centuries now, I think, but it's not surprising that certain tropes will get played out or cliched. Or even worse, they reboot your favorite show for money. Yeah, but with all jokes aside, today's video is movie and TV show cliches that I hate. Also, we're on the road to 5k, so if you sub, that will really mean a lot. And also, liking the video really does help push my videos out there. And I have a Discord first link below. And let me know what you think of the video in the comments. Enjoy the video. First up, we have the Wisdom Guy. Now, this guy is commonly known for just coming out of nowhere and just dropping some random wisdom that nobody really asks for. These guys somehow know everything in the world and always end up training the main character or giving him some type of wisdom. But what I don't understand is whenever the main character asks these guys something, they always answer it in a riddle instead of giving it straightforward. Master Ugwe, the nukes are going off. I need the password to stop it. One often meets his destiny on the road he takes to avoid it. What does that even mean? For some reason, they always die the same. Like, when they're getting ready to die, they just all turn into like this big pile of dust and just fly off to the wind for some reason. Who knows? And they always decide to do it before something big is about to happen in a movie and drop some devastating news they could have dropped like two weeks ago before they died. Next up is monologuing. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys know what monologuing is. So basically, when a super villain or villain captures the hero and instead of just killing him off right then and there, he has to tell this dude this whole entire plan for no reason. And we can't forget about his tragic backstory. On the day of my actual birth, both of my parents failed to show up. <laughs> If done correctly, I feel like it could be a good plot device and, you know, to draw on tension. But most of the time, it's just used as like a, a time saver to extend out the movie, if I'm being honest. Now, this next one is a classic for action movies. I'm pretty sure I have never seen an action movie where this didn't happen. The good old just walking away and something just randomly explodes in the background just to make the main protagonist look cool. I mean, I'm cool with it. <laughs> I mean, like, it, it does look cool. But it's an extreme cliche, so it doesn't get the pass. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. The classic, the superhero saves the damsel in distress out of literally nowhere. Like, they, it could be anybody. It could be three seconds away from death. And the superhero just comes out of nowhere and just saves them. And that's why in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, it shocked me when they killed Gwen Stacy off. Because normally, the superhero always saves the day. But what I like about this is that it shows that superheroes can't save the day all the time and accidents are gonna happen and it also gives characters more depth and the reason i say that is because you get to see how they grieve and how they take the loss of not being able to save everybody 24 7 and i love when movies do that does nobody find it weird in like all of these human slash animal tv shows that the main character always have a pet even though it's an animal itself like take mickey mouse for an example okay mickey is a mouse goofy is a dog but so is pluto so why can't he talk i actually can speak mickey told me there is only room for one talking dog on the show and if i speak he will have goofy do horrendous things to me Please help me. I'm dying on the inside. Oh God, why? It's so cold. Oh God, why take me from this curse of Earth? Same thing with Arthur's dog. Like, I just find it weird that societies that are literally based on animals have animals themselves. Next up, you got the movies that think you can be anything with the power of friendship or even worse, family. It's gotten so bad that the motto for every Fast and Furious movie now is just family. And not only that, anytime it's like a new villain, the only way they beat them is with family. Finally, I have took over their earth and now I shall rule. Seems to be some type of sports car. Yo, I'm Vin Diesel and I'm gonna stop you. That's literally impossible. I am a multi-dimensional demigod that can destroy planets with one look. What do you have that I don't? I got family. I'm Vin Diesel. Same thing with the Flash series on the WCW. Like, anytime this man is going through a problem, whatever, somebody just comes out of nowhere and just be like, run, Barry, run faster. Or he only gets faster because somebody in his family is in danger. It's super cliche and just needs to stop. Can someone please explain to me why in movies and TV shows, as a character is wearing glasses, they're just automatically just known as ugly? And as soon as the person takes the glasses off, they just randomly get hot, just like glasses just hold this ugly power. And when you take them off, you just get madly beautiful. Like it doesn't make sense. There's too many horror movie cliches. Like I'm not even joking. Like if I really want to sit here and name every single one, this video will be 20 minutes long. So instead, I'm just going to name some of the most popular ones. 
First up, we have the lady that literally trips on anything. Like, it'd be no obstacle in front of her. The killer could be walking super slow, and yet she'll still find a way to fall on the ground. Like, at this point, I'm lost in words. Next up, you got the people that buy houses, like, when creepy locations or just looks weird, and the nearest thing to them is, like, a gas station 600 miles away, and they're just straight dead in the woods. Uh, yeah, my boss said I had to clarify this. Seven people were murdered in this house, like, two months ago. It's also a cemetery behind the house, but you shouldn't worry about that. And also, there was nuclear testing right around the corner, so you should be straight. Everything's alright? We'll buy it. And then you have the people that can avoid the situation, but decides not to for some reason. <laughs> Did you hear that? I think we should go check that out. Like, nobody in their right mind would hear a demonic noise and be like, let's go see what that noise was. Next up, you have bullies. Now, bullies in movies are awfully kind of weird to me, if you ask me, because the way they're portrayed is just so fake. Like, I find it hard to believe that people used to get stuffed in lockers or had their heads, you know, pushed into toilets. It just, it just seems so weird because, like, do teachers and, like, security guards, do they not notice when, like, 50 people go into the bathroom and you just hear this one kid screaming? Like, like where, where, where is everybody? And I'm not trying to say bullying doesn't exist. And, yes, teachers are dumb and they will overlook a lot of things. But what I'm saying is, in, like, movies and TV shows, it's kind of overdone and, like, kind of cringy if you ask me. Well, guys, this is the end of the video. Sorry, the video wasn't like normal length of 10 to 8 minutes, but like I really got stuff to do. And also, I just came off of a YouTube strike and I couldn't post for seven days if you were wondering why I haven't posted in a long time. So that was interesting. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash like and sub. And I'm Simply J. One, two, three. Uh. My baby don't mess around because she loves me so. And this I know for sure. Does she really wanna but can't stand to see me walk out the door?